This video shows how to perform panel unit root tests, which is designed to determine the order of integration of time series. And this is a test that must be done prior to carrying on with a panel VAR model or a panel vector error correction. And to do this, we have a panel data of 13 countries, each with 20 years of annual data, featuring these four variables here, tourism receipts, tourist arrivals, real GDP, and market capitalization, which is the market value of equity in the countries. All right, so let's go ahead to eViews and show it up. And so here are the variables right here, tourist receipts, arrivals, real GDP, and market cap. There are two approaches to performing panel unit root test, which by the way, you can see here that we have 13 countries, each with data from 2009 to 2013, yielding a total of 143 observations. So anyhow, the first approach would be to go to quick and then series statistics, and then you go to unit root test, and then right here, you type in the name of the series that you want to test, say tourism receipts, and you click OK. And then you complete this, uh, uh, this uh, box the way you want to. I'll get to it shortly. And then you click OK to get your output. All right. But in my opinion, a more efficient way is to double click each of the variables and just pull them all up and do them in one fell swoop like, like this. So double click tourism receipts, pull it up, and then tourist arrivals, pull it up, pull it up, and then real GDP, right there. And finally market cap. So these are the four variables I'm interested in checking on. All right, so what you do, we go to view, and then down here to unit roots, and for test type, so you could select from these. However, you could just leave it as summary. That way you can get a, a little bit of um, every one of them. And to start out, you get, you're going to have to test at level. And for now, I'm going to allow it to be at individual intercept. For lag length, I'm going to select automatic uh, selection. Otherwise, you can also specify the lags right here on your own. But that's it. And then I click OK. Now. Here, my variable is tourist arrivals. And here we have, the, these are the methods right here. There are four of them right here. The null hypothesis is that series has unit root, meaning series is non-stationary. And here we reject that null hypothesis that series is uh, non-stationary. However, observe that the rest of them do not reject it. And so usually when you have mixed results like this, uh, you want to go with the majority because right here, the p-values, as you can see right here, are all greater than 5%. Now, with um, the information you already provided, you're going to go here to View, Unit True Test. All that information is populated across all the panels that you opened. And then uh, OK. And right here, we can see that across the board, we cannot reject the null hypothesis that series has unit root, meaning that series right here at level is non-stationary. And we go over here, view, unit root. And again, no need to do anything further. And we can see here that um, we do kind of have mixed results right here, right? So. Um, this p-value is less than 5% as well as this, right? So it's kind of 50-50. We're kind of sitting on the fences here, right here with uh, our GDP, it appears. In any event, right here, view, unit root test, again, summary. And we can see here that uh, majority of uh, the methods have uh, statistics with p-values greater than 5%. So we conclude that this variable right here has unit root. So for the most part, all of these variables are non-stationary at level. So now we're going to have to go and see if stationarity is achieved after first differencing. So view, unit root test, and here we click on first and OK. And we can see across the board that 
we reject the null hypothesis of unit truth in favor of the alternative that at first differencing, which you can see here, that um, series is stationary. So we do the same across the board view right here, unit root, and we don't have to do anything, OK, and you can see it's stationary. We reject the null hypothesis of non-stationarity, the same thing as unit root. And over here, ditto, as you can see. And finally, over here, view, unit root, OK. And you can also see it right here. So that's about it, except that you might also want to check out a couple other test types. R like right here, you could go and choose Hadri and uh, go back to level. And the reason I pull up Hadri is because Hadri test is the other way around. The null hypothesis here is stationarity unlike the previous ones. So this is saying that at level this series is stationary. Do we accept it or reject it? So you can see we reject it because p-value here associated with the hard resist statistic is virtually zero. And so we reject the null hypothesis of stationarity and say that series is non-stationary at level. Well, let's see if it is stationary at first difference. So you go to view, unit root test, and change it to first difference. OK. And there you go. At the 5% level, we cannot reject the null hypothesis of stationarity because p-value here is about 7%, which is greater than 5%. So in the same way, you can go ahead and check the rest of them. But now, having identified series that are integrated of the first order, meaning stationary after first difference, those would be the variables to be considered in a co-integration test, in this case, in a panel co-integration test.